Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see who it is. Who that? Drew that. CD is back for the first time, formally called A-Track on the channel. Well, we call him the A-Track, but I figured it's the Millennium, so they should be called CD. And really, it's the Millennium, so they should be called iTunes. But CD is uh, short for your name anyway, so... Right, correct. And, uh, like, Drew is short for my name, too, so... Mm. But be that as it may, we're back for the first time since 2017, the post-E3 show, mm -hmm. which I uh, believe we did two top ten lists involving E3 called Two for One, and that was episode nine. So we are back for episode ten of Unauthorized Entry. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Welcome back. No, you were gone. Yeah. I, I, I kept doing stuff on YouTube in, mm. it, in, in a wide range of time in between stuff. Hi, guys. Yep. So with that said, as you can see to my left here, we have an unboxing for you guys. I finally did it. I went out and purchased a Nintendo Switch. How he did it, we'll never know. With money, unfortunately. Mm. I didn't mooch it off anybody. Uh, I had to pay for the bloody thing. So let's put this in between us. question is how long did it take you to save for it? Uh, not very long. Yeah, that's good. Uh, it was in between paychecks. Mm. So, had the money anyway. Are you going to be afford this month's rent, rent then? Yeah. So long as I keep getting the hours that I'm supposed to get. As you don't know, this is our first episode for a while, and it's coming on the eve of Black Friday. Well, n not really, because... Well, a week from now. This is the Thursday before Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. And usually the Friday after Thanksgiving... It's Black Friday, and don't remind me, I work in retail still. Yeah. And you don't. So... We're going to start with unboxing the game, which is uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is a launch title for the Switch. Mm -hmm. When this came out in 2017, 18? The last time I played Zelda was on my Game Boy, and that was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And there was a lot of Game Boys, so which one was that? The original, the color? The original. That was a long time ago. The galaxy far, far away. So, all we got in here is just a very small <laughs> chip. Chip. A very small cartridge. Should we grab a PS4 or a, a, a Xbox uh, game and show them the size comparison? Yeah. Uh, do you want to go grab one? Yeah. From, from over there? <clears throat> or, really, you can grab an Xbox and a PlayStation. The PlayStation's on the for... shelf over there. Or, or you can grab that one too. Okay. Because I plan on giving that to somebody. Here's anyway. the Xbox and the uh, Sit PlayStation. Down. Sit down. As you can see, he's no professional. So, the cartridge for the Switch, I'm going to move this so I can move it closer so you can get a good look at how small this thing is. See? So that's microscopic. Which is going to be fun trying to figure out where to put that thing into the switch. Mm -hmm. PS4s, you have your standard disc. And this is Final Fantasy 14 for the, or 15, sorry, for the PS4. Which I plan on giving this to uh, somebody as a gift as a late birthday present, because I have this also for the Xbox One, so. And then, uh, you just grab, well, there's no disc in here, because that's in the Xbox. Good job. Oh, sorry. So, well, I'll, I'll I use don't, I, 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 I don't have x-ray vision, so I can't just peer in and see, oh wow. You could have opened it. <laughs> yeah, true. Crazy, good for nothing. Hey. Or, I'm sorry, I mean good for half the things in the world. Yeah. And then here's an Xbox di disc, which is 
standard just like the PS4 games. So. So, like we just showed you, this is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, a very small, uh, would we call this a cartridge? I'd call it a chip. I don't know if I should call it a chip or a cartridge, I just know that I... A that cartridge is, uh, cartridge, here's a cartridge. If any of you played the old I, Nintendo... I know a cartridge, I still have an N64, it's... Put away. Yes. Nintendo or N64 those. or Super Nintendo. The only time I recall them using discs from personal experience was the GameCube, which I still have, which is in the cabinet yeah. over there. And those are cartridges. The, the, the SNES, the Nintendo, and the N64. Yes. Those are cartridges. Absolutely. This is God knows what that is. I just know that it's like the noisy cricket from Men in Black 1. I I feel like I'm going to break this damn thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't point that at me. I feel like I'm going to... Hang on. It's dangerous. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to break this damn ship. <laughs> Hopefully you won't get flagged for copyright for that, but anyway. <laughs> Well, we should, and we're just we're just sitting here talking. We're not showing them anything, and we're never going to. Yeah. Anyway, that was from Men in Black. We're not exhibitionists. Is that two or one? Is that one? That was one. I believe I had the VHS of it up until I got rid of my box TV that had a built-in VCR, so I got rid of all the VHS tapes that I had like three, four years ago. Sadly, I still have some VHS tapes lying around in my home. That's a you problem. And here's the unboxing. Of the console itself. So, front and center is the screen and the uh, hot pink and turquoise... Uh, I forget what they're called. Contro joysticks. Joy-cons. Joy-cons, that's right. What do you expect from a guy in a PlayStation hat who has an Xbox One X as well? As well as a PS4. So yes, this also means that I have all three current gen consoles until Project Scarlet and PS5 come out. Which means he has an addiction. No, it just means I'm hardcore and it means that this proves that I want to be a game journalist. Mm -hmm. I still say it's an addiction. I say I want this to be my career. Unboxing consoles and playing games. That is the ultimate dream. So here is the uh, switch itself with the uh, stand. I'm glad I have this table here. So this is supposed to pop out to stand up like this. So you can play this like just at somebody else's house with these things like this or like this even mm -hmm. which hopefully I'll be able to do at your house for Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and hopefully when the next PS console comes out PlayStation 5 it's been confirmed that that's the name right. What? When the next PS5 comes out, I hope it's not like this, because that mean tiny controllers and wondering what the heck to do with them. Well, I got tiny hands anyway, so I'm like Andrew. Well, so do I, so. I'm fairly certain mine are smaller than yours. No, you win. That's what I thought. Hey, well, five, hey I'm five foot five. What do you expect? I'm five foot ten, so... Or five foot eleven or six foot, depending on which convenience store or uh, swimming pool I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> so, yay, a USB cord. I think this is a first for Nintendo. But feel free to comment down below if I'm not just an idiot and didn't play like. Well, I did not get a Wii or a Wii U, so I don't know if those came with eight with HDMI cords, but 
the last Nintendo console I bought myself was the GameCube, and that was before high definition was a thing. Mm -hmm. So we have an HDMI cord for this thing. That's good. That means I can use it with my uh, two newer TVs. Hopefully it's long enough to reach. Well, if anything, I'm probably going to put it next to the smaller TV right there. And probably charge it because you can unplug it and just play it with that. Well, yeah, obviously you have to charge this thing, but that's what the dock is supposed to be for. So. Precisely. And right here we got the uh, very important uh, power cord, which will lead to charging it. It's my apartment. I can throw stuff wherever I want. Until the, land roller, until the landlord comes around. Don't worry, I'll pick it up after we're done with the unboxing stuff here. I always clean up my messes. 99 times out of 100. Hmm. So that's the power cord. We got the owner manual thing. You can go down there with the other stuff. Here is something that I do know I'm going to use a lot. And that's... The Joy-Con. No, this is where the Joy-Cons go in oh, yeah. to become a standard game controller. I just need to figure out how to do this. Ah, there we go. And then I will need to figure out how to get them back out again. It's probably like a switch or something yeah I think careful. there's a button right here I think oh, okay there's a button on bottom and top right there and right there that you have to push both to get it back out again mm -hmm. once it clicks so this thing is going to be my friend because that's how I'm going to use the switch most of the time mm -hmm. like a standard game console unless I got to go to the bathroom then you take the switch with you into the bathroom. Yeah, then you unhook these things out of the thing, plug them into this thing like this. And hopefully he's not recording anything while he's on the pot. That's not what this console's gonna be for. This is solely for my own entertainment. Oh, yeah. I'm, not, I'm never gonna play Nintendo stuff on anything because of their history of flagging everything. Even this, probably. And if that's the case, then I'll take this down and another, and there, and then we will have, never have an episode ten. Mm -hmm. It will be the lost episode at that point. So, these things. Do you know what this is for? No clue whatsoever. All right, we'll show you. So. When you're, should you be playing any games that require you to have the controller in your hand, this oh, is... Oh, it's the bumpers. No, this is to make sure that the controller doesn't fly at the TV. Oh, okay. Much like with the Nintendo uh, Wii or the Wii U with, uh, with, with those controllers. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Nintendo was thinking right out of the box. Hmm. <laughs> this channel is full of puns. Not all of them are, are that clean either. No. But but you will know that from past episodes of this very <laughs> show. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Podcast. This is a podcast, but we but this is an unboxing. Well, yeah, but this isn't a podcast, I would say. A pod aren't podcasts normally like appear like on iPods as well, like in audio form? This is only in one form in one place. Okay, so it's a, uh, I don't know, what would you call it? Uh, an idiot show? No, because we're not exactly idiots. Well, I know I'm not. At least I know I'm not like 50% of the time. Okay, well, that looks like everything in here. So you are right on the way here from 
from my work. There's no game in there, so I'm glad I bought Legend of Zelda. And then this ought to be the dock. Yes, it is. I'm going to be saving that box at the other I time. used to be a Nintendo fanboy, and then I became a PS4 fanboy. Yeah. And I think I'm going to stay with the PS, because I don't know if I'll ever play anything off the Switch. So this will be a first for me to see... Well, it won't be a first since my uh, niece and nephew and my sister and her husband have a Switch. And I've seen them play it. Yeah. But as I see them play it, I'm like... As a normal gamer, I'd be like, these controllers are too small. Yeah, so that's where that goes. Do you see where this says game card? Yeah. That's where the game goes in. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I'm going to stick that in there right away. And I am going to keep filming this episode while I'm hooking everything up. Okay. So you and I can keep talking while all that's going on. In theory. Mm -hmm. There's one game I wish that oh, the game the the switch would come out with and if they did I definitely buy a switch I hope that is going in the right they came out they came out with it for the Super Nintendo I don't think that and it was Aerobiz ah so it goes in that way Aerobiz was a great game yeah actually not Aerobiz that's that was the first one Super Aerobiz so, was a great game what it was is you controlled your own airline company and you battled out other people trying to get routes, trying to get so the best. Let's see where that goes. What is the power plug in? The best uh, prices for oh. your routes, the best planes, the more. Okay. The more. Um, Hmm, that's a weird um, looking thing. Kiosks, you had airports. That was awesome. So if they came out with Super Aerobiz 3 for the Switch, you, I'd buy the Switch. No, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Any games you looking for to hoping the Switch has? Mm, well, they already have. They've had Mario since the beginning. Yeah. They've had Zelda for a long, long time. Uh. How about Super Mario Bros. An original? Well, there's a port from the Wii U version that I'm interested in getting. Nice. At some point, so I can have a good Mario game to play. Hmm. Another game, game if software. the Switch came out with, and they could do this because. They came out with Super Aerobiz for the SNES. So they could definitely bring this game out. I got it for the PC. But this game could come out for the Nintendo Switch easily. Since they came out with Aerobiz. Yeah. This game is called Political Machine. And what it was is that you played a political candidate running for president. It was awesome. You were able to... Um, you were able to make your candidate. You were able to say what you believe in. And... It was just an awesome game. I haven't found it yet for anything else. And... That computer that I had, that had, not, had that game on it, is way out of date. And I don't know if Steam has it. I don't think they do. But that's a game I hope and pray the Switch or PS4 or even PS5 for that matter come out with. Because I want more business run games. More thinking games rather than RPGs and sports games. Don't get me wrong. I love sports games. But I, I prefer the business model. I prefer creating a company and trying to 
see what I can sell. Anyway, that's my hope and wish for the Switch and for PS5 and for Exit Box Project Scarlet, as it's supposedly called. Yeah. So, let's see. Any hopes and dreams, Drew? Uh, for this? Yeah, games. Um... I just got the I just got the effing console. Give it time. <laughs> There's gotta be something you're looking forward to. Well, let's see. Skyrim is on it, so I can play that while I'm on the shitter. <laughs> I ain't that the shit. Um. So that means that the. Angry review from Angry Joe at the time of strapping a uh, bedpan to your ass is irrelevant with a switch. You can just sit on the toilet and play it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> at that point. Angry Joe is someone we follow online. On YouTube.com. If you have not seen the channel, go check it out. I'm going to turn that TV on to see if that it works at any point. Are you seeing if the console will hook up to the TV? Yeah, I have it hooked up to this one. It's just a matter of figuring out how to turn the bloody thing on. Which I'm still trying to. You may have to charge it too, so. Well, if it's plugged into the dock, that should not be the case because it should be charging while it's in the dock. Mm -hmm. Which I do. I just don't know if I have it in backwards or not. No, it's on. Let's see. Other games I'm hoping to see. Um. A good SimCity game. Oh, so it wants me to take the thing out. <laughs> oh, f oh, you, Nintendo. Okay, now it wants me to put the stupid Joy-Cons onto this. I'm hoping for a good SimCity game. In terms of multiplats that I want, that I would like to see on here, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Because I'd rather play the exclusives on here because, like I said, I have all three consoles now. Until, until holiday next year. Is it fully charged? I'm turning the volume down so we don't get flagged. No, you're not. But is it fully <laughs> charged? Uh, I'll find out in a sec. A for English. The Americas, yes, I think, right? Well, if it's working, it must be. Wow, well, you know, right out of the box, it's charged. Or at least that's the way it looks, but I'll find out as soon as I get done setting this up, because at least it's not uh, on camera, so we can't get flagged for this. I'm the only one that can see this, and I, and I muted the volume, so we shouldn't have an issue. So I guess this is turning from an unboxing to a setting up of the console, too. <laughs> Go figure with Nintendo. Sur mm -hmm. Surprises. <laughs> User agreements. Accepts. Let's see. Other games I'd really like to see from Switch. Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. I was hitting B. I'm supposed to Mainly a lot more business model games. Maybe even like an online university. That'd be awesome. Okay, now I need the password. Someplace where I can go and learn a craft. Like an actual craft. Without paying a lot of money to learn it. Uh, craft cheese is usually on sale. And usually processed. <laughs> I'm, I know you weren't talking. Why did I grab the receipt for the same thing? I was going for my Wi-Fi password. But anyway, I'm hoping for some sort of university game where I can go and learn a craft 
for very little money. I'm going to type in the information for my receipt and hope that works for my Wi-Fi, I guess. It's... What do you expect? I worked this morning. Is that it? Nope. And yes, we don't have day jobs, we have morning jobs. Well, I will until like th the night before Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving night, I'll have a night job. I go to work at 4 a.m. in the morning. I usually go at 5.30 or anywhere from 5.30 to 8 o'clock in the morning. And if I start at 8, I usually work till 4. Mm -hmm. Lately, if I've been starting at 5.30, I've been getting done at 10. Anyway, not for this thing. He's going to be sitting there playing with his dinghy just to see what he can show us later on. Sorry, I had to say that. By the way, that's my Tommy Boy reference. Your uh, dinghy? Well, then, when are you going to stop playing with yours? Uh, it comes and it goes. That's not what she said. Yeah, she said comes. No, she said where is it? <laughs> the size does not matter. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be the motion of the ocean, but uh, what if there's no water? <laughs> then we have a problem. Now, to divert this conversation to something else before we get red flagged. <laughs> well, this channel is unadvertiser friendly anyway. Which is good. Well, not for you. I'm never going to make money at this. Well, you never know. Let's try that again then. What are you trying to do? Trying to enter my password for my Wi Fi. So, you talk to them, not to me. Okay. So, coming for Christmas. Keep think it, of what, think keep what, it clean, please. Yes, I will. Uh, coming for Christmas. There we go. Things that you I want to see. You, you keep saying the C word. I said keep it clean. That is clean. Never mind. Anyway, coming for Christmas, things that I'm looking forward to. Probably seeing family. Um, probably. This is a game Not show. seeing. The next Star Wars, which I'm probably going to see with Drew. Um, it all depends on how everything else goes. Yeah. Alright, time zone. Also, things uh, that I really think should uh, Chicago be happening Central. soon this holiday season. Uh, I expect Donald Trump to be... Uh, Impeached. Okay. Um. Well, I can do this. I suspect Bernie Sanders to get the nominee for president. But, I don't know if he's going to win. Hopefully this will work. Other things I'm hoping for this new year? Um. Hey, it's on the, uh, 43, you know. Okay. Other things I'm hoping for this year? Uh. I'm hoping that the U.S. and China can peacefully to agree to coincide, and I hope China gets a new, uh, a new emperor or a new president. Other things I hope for this year. Uh, that every state enacts red flag laws. Because I'm a mentally ill person who doesn't deserve a handgun. 
That's the truth. So you can't do this? No, I can do that. Can't do that. Ah. I'm gonna have to call the cops now. <laughs> Why? I think Minnesota has a red flag law. Yeah, but you said you're not allowed to do this. And you just did it, so now I gotta call the cops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Either way. Oh, and things you should do this holiday season? One, donate to your local Lions Club. Two, not everyone that watches this lives near us. Lions are international, dude. Oh. And this is a gaming channel. Why are you talking about stuff? Because you want me to talk. Mm. Yeah, about games. This is a gaming channel. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I thought I'd divert. So talk about the stuff you've played this year. Because that's still relevant. It's November. That's coming up. The Game of the Awards is like a month away. Okay, things I've played this year. That would be nice. I've played... Uh... Sims 4, which I hated. Um, I played Stardew Valley, which I love. I play MLB The Show 19, which I love. I play WrestleMania 2K19, which I, I, I absolutely love. Um... I play NBA 2K20. I haven't played the cur the career mode or the my team mode. Probably never will. But I play the franchise, and I have liked the franchise so far. Um, what else have I played? I played. City Skyline, which I hate. Well, I don't hate City Skyline. I take that back. There's some parts of City Skyline I like. Then don't go downtown. <laughs> Ignore him. Um, City Skyline. <laughs> this is my channel. They, <laughs> they can't ignore me. That's making a pun. Okay. Um... A pun, or ne never mind, I was going someplace that would get us in trouble. Yeah, I already did that. Um, the thing I, wanna, I don't like about City Skylines is the fact that you have to build everything okay. next to a road. You can't build it away from the road. If they allowed you to build away from the road, it'd be a much better game. In fact, I would consider that game of the year. Depending on what year it came out. But, that being said, you have to build next to a road. Which is really annoying. The nice things about it is, one, you seem to never run out of funds. So you can always constantly keep building, which is nice. Ah, uh, the, uh, the battery in the handheld version of the Switch with the things attached to it. It does need the charge, but it only has enough charge to set up the console, which is important. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I have to be excused. I drink a lot of Diet Mountain Dew. That's a diuretic. I may be peeing a lot. Yeah. I'll be back. I, I guess I'll have to talk right now, then. So, uh... Black theme. Yes, that looks nicer. The white is annoying. Okay, so this thing has a 25.9 gigabyte hard drive. <laughs> That's pathetic. <laughs> oh, wow. So, 
mark. system update to what you'll have to do with this channel Drew is after we get done watch it and see if we need to exit anything out exit out of what A exit anything out of the program flag it you mean edit anything yeah I don't edit anything whatever we film gets uploaded oh all right so hopefully we won't get flagged for anything well we shouldn't Hopefully, hopefully I was quick enough to turn the volume down on the on on the thing. That would be the only thing that I would be concerned about. I got gotcha. you. Because you and I referencing v verbally "Men in Black," that shouldn't be an issue. Mhm. Mm because it's just you and I sitting here talking. Mhm. Mm okay, so looks like I officially have a Nintendo license account now. Oh wow. At least that's the way it looks, because... Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is... Get to the shop to see what the online shop looks like. Okay. Link an account. Okay, I guess I don't have one yet. I just had to update the console so I can do this. No, it's just preparing. Well, I had to update the console first. Yeah. You'll find you'll have to do that a lot. Yeah. Because I know with my computer, if I play anything on Steam, it constantly re-updates Steam. Yeah. So, that. And that. Okay, there we go. It constantly re-updates Steam. I'm using an external account. That would be easier. Too bad you guys can't see this, but we're just looking at a uh, sign-in thing for the Nintendo Wii. Yeah, and it's good that they don't, that they can't see it because th this will involve personal information of mine. Mm-hmm. True. True that. Yes. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. this one. It was taking me already to the password block and I didn't even type in my email yet. Which reminds me I gotta delete an email. Nope. It's not it. I can't see some of the letters because the laptop's in the way. Use the force, Drew. This isn't that galaxy. We're stuck in the Milky Way galaxy, silly. Eh, uh, one can dream. That's all we can do. And in that dream, I'm dreaming that Disney doesn't own Star Wars. I'm dreaming that George Lucas does, or I do. There we go. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out the uh, controls. I'm trying to figure out the controls for the system itself. <laughs> and, that, and I'm not even trying to play a game yet. Yep. <laughs> this is what happens when you buy a new console. And since this is technically the next generation console for Nintendo too, by the way, this means the next gen, the gen of 
Xbox, Project Scarlet, and PS5 is technically already in my apartment right now mm -hmm. with the Switch. Because that's technically whatever the number that, that, that the generation for Project Scarlet is. That's the Switch generation. Mm -hmm. So I already have a next-gen console now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except for I was looking at the hard drive space, it's 25 gigabytes on the Switch. Well, what do you expect when the, it's like a microchip for a game? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, hopefully that means you'll have a lot of space left when you get all your games. 25 gigabytes, I doubt it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, how much did Zelda take up? I didn't do anything with it yet. Right. I only put it in. I'm just trying to do everything else, like sign into a uh, Nintendo account here first. Uh, what's my Facebook password? I don't remember. I have it written down. So I don't have to remember stuff. So I'm one of these. Talk to them about games. Okay, so I've talked to you about Super Arrow Biz, I've talked to you about Political Machine. A lot of games I'm wishing for. Um, what? Here's one. Even though the guy's been slop, slapped with a magnitude of lawsuits, uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I'd love to see that for the Switch. I got an idea for something that I would like to see go to the Switch and therefore become a mo a most platform game. Because it's right now Sony exclusive. And it'll be the show. I'd love that too, but I'm fine with the show having it for right now. I wish it'd go to all platforms myself. That would be nice too, but at that point I would go, I could buy it for the PlayStation or I could buy it for the Switch and have the options of playing it on my TV or taking it with me to the bathroom. This guy wants to shit while playing video games. Get that. Or <laughs> take it with me to work and play uh, the show on my lunch break. Yeah, that's true. Or whenever I go over to your family's place for Thanksgiving, bring the show with me. Mm hmm Or whatever. Well, I'm hoping the Sony Interactive becomes interactive and just starts making things for all systems. Sony Interactive being the company that makes... Is it interactive or entertainment? I can't remember now. Uh, who? Sony. Uh, I think it's interactive. Interactive that makes... No. Well, well, there's Sony Entertainment, which I think is usually the movie side of things. Mm. Sony. And Sony Interactive, I think, is usually interactive media, so like video games, I think. Uh, we think it's Sony Interactive. You may want to correct us, anybody out there. Comment down below the correct answer. Yes, please. Um, but, uh... I'm hoping that interactive becomes interactive and just starts making things for all platforms. Even though I probably will end up getting a PS5 when it comes out, which is what I'm saving for. Also for Christmas gifts. Which I hope all of you have gotten your Christmas shopping started. Probably not done. It's a little early for that. What if your family is a thousand miles away? Well, then you send gift cards. I don't have anybody's address. Then you call them and ask them for their address and send it to them. Details. Oh, the little details. Either way. Something's going on. And that's not a standard controller, because look at that. It's way is slanted. Hmm. Whatever. Details. So, other games I'm hoping to come out for the uh. Switch. <laughs> um, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Um. Yeah, Facebook on my phone just told me you logged into Facebook on a Nintendo account. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> other games I'm hoping for. Um. Uh, I don't know, maybe another Zelda that, that's like the Nintendo Zelda? That'd be cool. 
Um, okay, do something. Also, another cool thing would be probably a uh, baseball simulator that's really good that could come out for the uh, Wii, or not the Wii, the Switch. I hit the Wii on the mind. Uh, and something like well, a, you, well, you're always going to the bathroom. Well, it's the Wii Wii. Um, you're not French. Wii oui, Wii. Oui. Uh, si, senor. And you're not Mexican. I'm not? Oh, uh, no. Anyway. Which, not, which is German. Uh, which I am. Well, deviate from the bad there's ethnic no, jokes. There's nothing wrong with being German. There's something wrong with being evil German. Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with being German. There's absolutely nothing no. wrong with being German. I know, I am. I think I part, am too. Part German. Well, that explains it. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> Which one, German or evil German? German. Okay. Well, some might dispute. Uh, <laughs> um, other games I'm hoping for, uh, let's see. Are we talking about Nintendo Nintendo Switch? Switch. Okay. I said Mike Tyson's punch they out. They need to still release Metroid Prime 4. Yes, thank you. Metroid Prime 4 is a must. Because that was teased like two, like the last year that we talked about E3 on the channel. Even mm. That was teased two, two years ago in 2017. This is November 2019 now. Okay, here, here's the Metroid. game so far. It's going to be Super Arrow Biz 3. Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Zelda, like an old Zelda from the Nintendo. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm brain fart. Uh. Nintendo Zelda. You said a oh, Metroid Prime. Okay, so I need to. Super Arrow Biz. This now. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Oh, a reboot of Zelda, um, Metroid Prime 4, and Political Machine. Turn all the volume down. Those five games. I think that was five games. Those five games that... I hope this is the right app. Okay, good. That Sony... Sony. Nintendo needs to come out with. And there's also another game I wish they'd come out with, but it'd be hard to do. They came in, came out with it for the Nintendo, and it was this baseball game. A new proper Donkey Kong Country. Oh so, yes, that'd be good. That that'd be a good one too. Because uh, there's Donkey Kong uh, Tropical Freeze, which I do want to get at some point. Yeah. And uh, play that with you. Yes. But, um, there's... So we could play with our monkeys. That's terrible. I'm not even going to comment. Welcome to, to, to Drew Dot Games, where we're not PC. Kids, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kids, if you're watching this, turn this off. Why are you watching this? <laughs> Especially don't watch me on Twitch. Anyway... To say, for the most part, Super Arrow Biz 3, Political Machine 3, um, Metroid Prime 4, Classic Zelda, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Donkey Kong, How about Tetris? Oh, Tetris is already on the Switch. Alright, Tetri Tetris is already on the Switch. I believe switch. it's called Tetris 99. Yeah. Which I think has a port on on the PlayStation, which is also called Tetris something else, which 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 has built-in VR capability. Mm -hmm. There is a game. If anybody knows about it, please text down below and tell us what it is. There was a baseball game. 
I just realized with the timer here that off camera we said that this would, should be only a 30 minute episode. Well, the hell with that. We're at 50 minutes. Let's keep going. Alright. <laughs> um, we should have a game come out. It was a generic baseball game. For the SNES. It wasn't Ken Griffey, wasn't EA. It was like Super Smash 2000 or something like that. Anyway, you were able to create your own team. You were able to have special at bat, special pitches, special catches. And you were able to do everything you could do in a regular baseball game. It was awesome. I played that thing until I wrote, wore out my controller for my Nintendo. If they ever come out with Super Baseball 2001 Simulator, that would be awesome. Okay, this is taking me back to creating an account for the Switch, which I previously started doing. I just need the code to keep going. Right now I'm having a little trouble trying to uh, access Drew's code and do a switch. Well, because if I go back to this on the switch here, it's showing me that I will need to follow the instructions in my email. Uh -huh. Which, when I go back to the Xbox, which is how I surf the web, because my laptop isn't that reliable for it, maybe I should check for a secondary email from Nintendo. Another board, not another, a board game that should come out for the Nintendo Switch, now that I think about it, should be Empire Builder. Or Ticket to Ride. Either Empire Builder or Ticket to Ride. Ticket to Ride is a little bit easier than Empire Builder, but Empire Builder is so much more in depth. What it is is a game where you have crayons, that's right, crayons, crayons and a board, and you make your way around the US building track, using money you get in the beginning, and delivering goods. You get money for the goods you delivered, and the goal is to connect all the big city, all but one or two big cities together and have the most money and the most track in the game and that's how you win. It's a really neat game. I wish I'd have, have it come out for uh, Nintendo Switch. That'd be cool. There'd be a ton of games out there I'd definitely buy a Switch for. Another good game they should, another good board game they should come out with for the Switch is Settlers of Catan. If they can bring out Settlers of Catan for the Switch, that'd be another reason I'd buy a Switch, because that is a great game. I can't really explain it, but it's, it's got a lot going for it. Those of you that know what Settlers of Catan is, know what I'm talking about, and know that's a good game. And that that's what I'm hoping they come out with for the Switch, is as Settlers of Catan. Once again, this is Drew Dot Games. Dot Games. Dot Games. D A T, not D O T. Yeah. That games. Thank you. This is Drew. Drew that. CD. CD. Um, we are just in the middle of accessing Drew's account online, trying to figure out what's going on. He's having a little trouble. Yeah, because the email that they sent me, it says on the switch that it's supposed to have like a uh, access code to to activate the account. But in the email, it doesn't show anything about that. 
And all it reads about that is, if you would like to link your account using a five digit confirm code, locate the code for the appropriate account after the Nintendo account is created. Hmm. And then I click on this, and it takes me to creating a, a fucking account. Oh, create another account. God damn it. Nickname. Da. Bat. Yeah. And I have to create a password for this. I'm going to grab paper and write this down. And the pen is back there. You need passwords for everything. Sorry if this is not entertaining for you. Thanks. Everybody. Well, other games I wish would come out for the Switch would probably be Dr. Mario, if it's not already out. Um. Let's see what else. Super Smash Bros. But yeah, I think we already have one for it. Uh -huh. Um, I'm trying to think of what games I played that I really liked and would like to see again. Movie, there was this movie studio game I played a long time ago, and it allowed you to make your own movie by using scenes and cutscenes and different actors you created. You owned your own music, movie studio, and that was a really awesome game. Because you were basically in control of your own movie studio. Now, if the Switch comes out with that, I'd be like, I definitely get a Switch for that. Come on, register you thing. That's a good hockey game. When a good hockey game would be a good game to come out with. Um, what else? Oh, why not a good first-person shooter like Contra? Contra would be awesome. I would love to see a Knights of the Old Republic or some kind of Star Wars RPG on the Switch. Yeah. Or any Star Wars, anything, for that matter. Yeah. Just imagine playing, like, Knights of the Old Republic on the Switch. On the toilet? In the break room at work. Why are you always going to assume that I am always taking a shit? Mm -hmm. Well, you always go that way when you talk about imagine me playing a game on the Switch. There's enough shit in this world. Mm -hmm. 
There's no need to have a shitty attitude about it. I know. I know. I was making a shitty joke. Yes, you were. Uh, and I was fulfilling it. I don't need help with that. Other games for the Switch I'd wish that would come out. Um, a classic Mario game. That'd be awesome. Mm, yes. Uh, let's see, what else? So, I think I'm done with this over here. Something that I think is already out for the Switch, which I think people should buy, is um, Stardew Valley. That is a great game. There's my shameless plug. Plug. Um, yeah. I actually, Stardew Valley is on the Switch, to my knowledge. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I just think you would probably have to buy it on the online store, though. Hmm. Which I do want to look at once I get done messing around with accounts and stuff. I hate accounting! By the way, uh, by the way, we're almost up to an hour. Yeah, well, we've gone this long and we've still not done anything with the thing to talk about to give our basic opinions of... Drew's just having a little trouble getting everything up and running. That's what happens when you get a console and set it up for the very first time. Okay, your, your Nintendo console was successfully linked. You can now enjoy the following features. Friends features, news about games and deals, Nintendo shop, posting, screenshots, and social media. And I'm not going to subscribe to your online because I already do that for the other two consoles. And I didn't get this to play online with people. I got this to play things like Legend of Zelda. Mm -hmm. Or to bring you over here and to eventually play things like Super Smash Brothers at some point. Mm -hmm. Or bring the or bring the thing over to to your place and play Super Smash Brothers there, mm -hmm. which you can do without having to bring the dock. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, the thing is, you might have this. to hook it up to our internet. Uh, maybe, but it's not like I would be trying to buy games there or anything. No. I would just be trying to play a game offline with you. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's offline, then... Uh, well, I'll know once I try to... Uh... Do this again. Good grief. At least you'll memorize the password. Yeah, it's easy. And I'm not saying what it is, because we're filming an episode. Of unauthorized entry. I I think that is what comes next. I like creating passwords. It's easy for me to remember, but hard for other people to guess. Which is the whole point, isn't it? Incorrect password. Yeah, that, not surprising because I was distracted by you again. And that computer in front of your face. Yeah, which isn't helping. But that's one of the downsides of filming an unboxing and an impromptu setup <laughs> on the channel of said console. There we go. What do you expect when I'm distracted? Now we can go see what kind of video you now, have. Now here's the store. So, recent releases on the Switch. Narcos, Rise of the Cartels. No. I'm just going to go through and point out what interests me on the Switch. Uh, this I have because of uh, Xbox Games with Gold on Xbox already. And that was given to me for subscribing to Xbox Live. 
I heard that Pokemon Sword and Shield aren't very good, so I'm not going to touch those. And most things that I already have, I lean towards not getting for the Switch unless it's like a, fi treat. a physical copy of it. <laughs> a physical copy of it for the Switch. <laughs> for like seven bucks or something. Yeah. So if we go to like the used game place at the other end of town and find good stuff there, which I do want to do at some point to look at the Switch games now. Maybe like uh, after Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. we could go do that. Go go make a little adventure of heading to Warp Zone to look at games. Hmm, this store performs a little easier than other ones. It's like scrolling like on Bing looking for videos. Anyway. Just takes a moment for once you get to the bottom of the page for anything else to load past. If you find a contra game, I suggest you get it. Uh Resident Evil is on here. What the hell? I'm looking for new releases, you silly thing. You know what? Forget the new releases. Let's go to great deals. That sounds better. Like cheap stuff. Hellblade is uh, on here for 50% off. I don't own a copy of that whatsoever. But if anything, I would rather play that on the Xbox One X than play that in 4K. Because here's the uh, graphic uh, capabilities of the consoles in order. Xbox One X, and it's based on the models that I have. Xbox One X plays stuff in 4K. Uh, the model PS4 that I have, which is not a pro, in uh, 1080p. The Switch, who the hell knows? I It ain't going to be 4K, though. <laughs> it's going to be standard HD of some kind. There's Ghostbusters down there. Uh, what, what is that? Is that based off of the good Ghostbusters? It looks like it, because I see guys on it, I think. Right? Right. That, but that's 20 bucks. Yeah, so. still a little much. Uh, yeah, still a little much. And the problem with buying, like, anything that came out, like, a couple years ago for Nintendo, physically, like, at Target, a lot of it's still $60, mm -hmm. like, two years later. So Nintendo games hold their value for some reason. One thing that interests me is Hellblade so far from the cheap stuff. I might have to just go searching for something. And this is digital games that we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. As well. For those that are watching this on YouTube. Can you do me a favor, Drew? What's that? Can you type in the search political machine? Yeah, sure. I hope I spelled this right. Yeah, don't ask me because I'm not that great a speller either. Oh, it helps. There's political right there. Oh, I need a space. Still. I'm used to like X being the back thing. It's B on and on on the switch here. And then space is Y. Why is that the case? <laughs> I had to <laughs> You are a mental case than you are. I don't think that's how you spell machine, but let's give it a try. Oh, 
Okay, let's just type in political then. Since that didn't bring up anything. Three things. A uh, headliner, no V news, whatever. Politics pack for something. And Iron Curtain from some Russian city with love. I have a political pack. Well, I'm not buying it. No, you don't buy it. Because it's downloadable content for some game. Mm -hmm. But there's no political machine here. And there's nothing that I'm allow, allow you to look at that political pack? Well, I don't even want to look at it because it's downloadable content for something that I don't have. Let's look at best sellers on the Switch. Let's see what everybody's buying. So, Sword and Shield. Uh, Luigi's Mansion. That's supposed to be good. That's what uh, Guy in Electronics at work said. Minecraft. S Stardew Valley. Yeah. But I have that for PlayStation because that was a birthday present from you. Yeah. Cuphead is over here, which I didn't know about. Mario Kart 8. And that's deluxe, by the way, but that's still $60. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You saw me open that up and put that into the console, which I will attempt to play once we get done filming this episode of Unauthorized Entry. And then we will share our thoughts in a future episode on on what play on what trying to play a game on here is like. So that's it for bestsellers coming soon to the Switch. A uh, professional farmer, so like a farmer simulator. Mm -hmm. Trevor Saves the Universe is coming, which I didn't know about, but not interested. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, apparently. Farming Simulator 20 is coming December 3rd. Alien Isolation, December 5th. Which, that's kind of an old title at this point for this gen. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Okay, that's the Black Flag and the Rogue Collection. Okay. So that's two Assassin's Creed games going to the Switch. Pog uh, there's a pool game. Doom 64 on December 31st of next year. So that's a release for next year. Trials of Mana, not really interested. It looks like that's it for new stuff. Okay, uh, A Legend of Zelda update just downloaded. So I'm glad that that works that way, just like the other consoles. It can download in the background. So are we going to wait to play the game a little, or are we going to call it an unboxing? Unboxing and setup show. Yeah. Um, and it is an hour and 14 minutes. Let's go five more minutes, so for an even 120. All right. So. I can't believe how much Fortnite has taken off. It's a free-to-play game, so you can download and play it for free, technically. Because when I say play something for free, I don't include, like, having to pay to keep playing it mm -hmm. type of game, either. Because you and I feel the same way about microtransactions in games. And we end with five minutes left. You might as well rant about that, because I know that you want to. So go for it. Okay, here's my rant. Because you did want to do this, and I went, uh, well, since I just bought a Switch, that's going to be the episode. 
Well, no, we got time left to kill, so we'll go ahead and kill it. Okay, right. here's the thing. I hate pay to play. I hate it. We both do. I hate the my teams. I hate the card packs, the loot boxes, the the cosmetic horse crap. All of that. Yeah. I wish it just be franchise career. Franchise career. Franchise career. None of this. Oh, gee, you gotta buy this player to play him. You gotta buy that player to play him. You gotta buy this player to play him. Lower well, your voice just a little. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Um, but you don't have to scream. Yeah. You're 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 ranting, not dying. Oh, this is me ranting. <laughs> anyway, I just wish they'd cut it with the pay to play crap. And the only good part about this whole pay-to-play thing is that when I play MLB The Show 19, I can buy, I can buy, um, funding for my team through the pay-to-play stuff I earn through playing the game. That I don't mind. But if I have to pay for a player, just a player. That's taking it too far. I should only have to pay for the player through money I earned in the game. Not my own hard earned cash. That's my main problem with these things. Plus it sends the kids a wrong message. And the message it sends is Hey, gambling is great. Gambling is fun. You should be doing this. Now, don't get me wrong. I love to gamble. I'm a gambler. But there are certain people that shouldn't because they're easily addicted to it. And they're too young. If you're... But I'm, but I'm also talking about adults that shouldn't, too. Yeah, that is true. If you're 21, I understand. You like to gamble. If you're 18... But if you're addicted to it, you probably should stay away from it Yes, altogether. yes, yes, yes. This is very true. And I know about addictions. Caffeine. Yeah. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I smoke. I, I drink. But that's a controlled thing. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do drugs that aren't legal. But, I'm not going to say anything. I do have a caffeine addiction. So do I. That's my only addiction. We're getting away from games here. And competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, not really for you, but for me. Mm -hmm. I'm addicted to competition. Mm -hmm. Kind of. But anyway, that's my rant about pay to play. Yeah. It's sending the wrong message and it's not needed in these games. If they need to make more money off the games, then charge more for the games. I'm sorry I have to say that. Yeah. You don't need to add these little things going, hey, you can pay this for this period of time and, and we'll charge you every single year for it. No. One game. One price. One cartridge. Or CD. Or terabyte. Let me look and see how. No more loot boxes. No more pay to play. Nope. Not that one. That's what I'm trying to get here. Because we aren't made out of money. At least I'm not. Drew, are you made out of money? That not look like it. You got a knife? <laughs> I don't want to cut you open to find out because it probably Damn. isn't the case. Damn it. Because I want to see if there was gold in my veins. I doubt that highly. Um... 
still a joke worth making. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just hoping that people understand that pay to play is the wrong way to go. Yeah, it's still sixty dollars. Yep. Damn it. Cause right now I'm Arcade Adventure Super Mario Brothers, that's eight bucks. And I'd I get it. And I do wanna experiment with downloading a game too. I get it. Let me take a look at something first. How much I book? Oh, how much I have? Yeah, specifically in what I think I can do right now. So, how much did I spend for free today? Mm, I can spare that. So, the things that I think that we need to cultivate here is... Because this is going to be fun to play. <laughs> yeah, no, it's the old Mario. Yeah, it's the old arcade archives Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, me, me and my brother played the shit out of that. So, uh, this was back when my sister still played video games. Yeah. So, let's see how this works. But let me look into what this actually is. It's an action game released in 1986 by Nintendo. Mario and Luigi must go on a widespread adventure in order to rescue Peach from the clutches of Bowser. It looks like this is the actual game. Yeah, it is. Okay, if that's the case, I'm in. Because this is exactly what I'm looking for. I don't really care about Mario Maker. I don't really care about Mario Odyssey, even though, like, should I find it for, like, 30 bucks, I'll probably give that a try later on down the road. But this is what I'm interested in. Classic Mario is awesome. Even though I kept on dying when I played it. Oh, I had to go over here. I was clicking on the picture. That's not going to do anything. Yeah, <laughs> zip post yeah. home. Yeah. And I probably will have to enter my card in too. In order to do that. Drew is getting one of the most classic games ever made. And that's Super Mario Brothers. I love sitting down playing that game, even though I would die every single time I played it. Okay, no. It was fun. Okay. Yeah, I need to get my card out. And do this. second and see. Credit card. Yeah, it's asking for credit card, so I'm just gonna move ten dollars from my account over to pay for this. Even though it's like eight bucks. At least ten should cover it. Yeah, it's eight ninety nine. Yeah. Judging on uh tax. So, don't worry, dude. I won't memorize your passcode. I don't give a shit about that because I trust you. Mm -hmm. This is the downside about buying games online. You have to enter your credit card number into the uh, machine. Yeah, well. That can't be helped sometimes. It's eleven twenty-two. Uh, not your expiration date. Oh, expiration date. Yeah, that's why I it thought says. you meant the date on the. No, you silly goose.
Yeah. Wait, this is 52. That's wrong. There is no 52 months on the calendar. God damn it. I'm looking for zero. There we go. That's better. Can I just put the postal code in? Or something else. And save. Mm, yeah, why not? Because I'll probably be doing this again at some point. Mm -hmm. For something that I don't necessarily need to have a physical copy of. Because I do this all the time with the PS4 and the Xbox One. Anyway. Oh, what it means is that adding funds, you just add a whole bunch of funds from your card, and then you use those funds to pay for the game. Yeah. That way, if you have funds left over, you can use those to pay for another game. Okay, so what's behind the computer screen now? Nothing, okay. You know, I'd almost put 20 funds into your account. Well, I, this is all I need for right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Art. Ms. Mario, you have earned 40 points. 40 coin points, or whatever the hell that is, for purchase. You can check download status and home menu, depending on the server status. The download might not begin immediately. Details of the purchase and content will be sent to your email address. Registered for your Nintendo account or to your Nintendo account if child account is being used. This information will be sent to the parent's guardian's email address. I'm in it. I am the parent in this household. Mm -hmm. uh, Not unless you want to send to Arizona. My mom won't care. Mm, that's good. Because I'm an adult anyway. Okay, so I will check my balance online later. So, all of these squares are potential games that can be on here. Mm -hmm. It looks like. That's quite a bit. Mm -hmm. For a Nintendo console. So, it looks like that is currently downloading. So, I'll have two games to play now. And I think we should try testing. You know what? Let's just keep filming while we're testing these things, and then end after I'm done, like, fidgeting around with the games. Huh? Hey, we like to go back to K-19. We will do that. Because I like to take a break from this. Well, we will. As soon as it's done and downloaded. Yeah, because I'm only going to briefly fidget with these things. And I'm not going to have the sound on them right now. So let's check the physical game first. That's going to be slightly annoying to constantly have to select who's going to play this game or who else is here. Well, that's in case you have a big family and you need to... Hang on, I'm going to go look and check for my kids in the bathroom. Hang on. Hello? Yep, I still don't have any children. I don't have a family. I said if you did. Nice graphics. Yeah, for a Nintendo console, yeah. Well, in the opening sequence of Breath of the Wild, at least. I know you can't see it, but uh, if you want to see footage of the game Breath of the Wild, go check, go type it in on YouTube or Twitch, preferably, and check out somebody else's gameplay of it. And when I was investigating the uh, the dock for the switch, I didn't notice any place to plug in a camera. 
or a mic to like do live streams. So I don't think I'm going to ever be doing that with the Switch anyway. But there is a place on the Switch uh, screen thing, on the Switch itself, to plug in headphones. So you can do that. Looks like Link is getting out of the tub. Or a hibernation chamber. Or cryo something. Mm -hmm. Like he's been frozen again. That seems to happen to him quite a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, warm up the microwave. Okay, so this lo does look like a good Nintendo game. Okay, so yeah, the camera controls like normal RPGs here. Do you control the camera? Yeah. It's with the left stick like with most games. Mm -hmm. Only it doesn't look it's like it's that sensitive on the default settings. Looks like it's going to take a little while to pan around. And then I can run in circles. Yay! I can try to make him dizzy. <laughs> so yeah, and then uh, this button for the controls, I can save right here if I want to. Let's do that right now. Progress saved. Alright, now let's see how to get out of here. Maybe, yeah, that's the home button. That leads to options. Okay, so... Let's see if we can start this game. Okay. switch to this. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Well, that was the case when we were watching the uh, the announcement uh, of the Switch itself, if you remember. Yeah. We were kind of making fun of them. Let's switch to this. Yeah. Let's switch from Zelda to Mario. Get used to it now. <laughs> it's this is true that games. We like running things into the ground. <laughs> no, through the ground. Down to the core of the planet. No, all the way through the planet. Oh, my, my mistake. Uh, Super Mario Bros. versus original mode. Let's see what that does. Press this okay connecting it looks like tells you all the buttons yeah which it should be like your standard controls anyway for a game like this I'm gonna enjoy playing this the demo it looks like. I think that's the game dude. No, that I'm not controlling anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not. Capture taken, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to insert coin. How do I do that? Wow, 
button settings. No, I'm trying to get the game to start playing for Yeah, no, no. Go to button settings. Add credits. Uh, no. Not add credits. Start is what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... That's strange. Okay. Okay. So this is two players. Just two for one. Oh, so I can't use this. I have to use the individual Joy-Cons, I think. Well, we might as well give this a shot with this stuff. And then... This is interesting trying to get this game to function. Okay. That's better. Can't go backwards. I mean, you can, but you can't go backwards off the screen. Mm, or some of them are hidden blocks. Yeah, no. You guys wondering what we're doing? We're sitting here playing Super Mario Brothers. The very first one. Just to test and see how a digital game works here. And trying to figure out how to start the thing too. Yeah, the controls are a bit screwy. But it is fun to play and I'm glad that I bought it. So, start button is... Okay, so that's fun. So, so X is close the software. Okay, so that's how that works. And this has been an unboxing of the Un unboxing attempt to play and fidget with the games and downloaded a uh, arcade version of Super Mario Brothers. All off the. Are you true? Actually, don't do that yet. Come on. Because I have an idea. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hang on. <laughs> Wait a minute, okay? I'm Drew, Drew Dat Games. Please like and subscribe to the channel. This is CD. Mm-hmm. And with that said, we will see you guys next time. Oh, and I almost forgot. Don't forget to follow on Twitch at dat underscore drew, D-A-T underscore D-R-E-W. Follow on Twitch, Drew Dat Games. Follow on Mixer, Drew Dat Games for Xbox and PlayStation games. With that said, we will see you guys next time. We'll switch you next time.